हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज सिस्टम वेरी लॉक इसेंशियल सीरीज इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिस्टम वेरी लॉक कॉन्सेप्ट स्पेशली वंस विद विच पीपल गेट कंफ्यूज एंड दे फाइंड इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड दी वंस विच आर सीरियसली वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अ पर्सन हु वॉन्ट टू लर्न सिस्टम वेरी लॉक इन डेप so we are going to learn all these complicated concepts in such a easy language that once you go through the series you are going to find system very log very easy even the most complicated concepts which people feel that's how we are going to cover all system very log essential concepts let's get started today we are going to discuss in detail about system very log regions let us understand first what is system very log region in simple words system very log region means your current time slot whatever time slot you have that time slot is going to be divided into different simulation regions say for example you are giving time scale as 1 nanosecond in this one time slot means 1 nanosecond so this 1 nanosecond your current time slot will be divided into different simulation regions this is what i actually mean by system very log simulation region it's the division of your time slot into various simulation regions let us also understand some other important events which happen one event which occurs in the time slot is change in the sensitivity list say for example you have at the rate always block in at the rate always you specify sensitivity list which is list of signals wherein your always block will be activated say for example i say always at the rate pausage of clock it means clock is my sensitivity list and change in the clock is change in my sensitivity list this change in your sensitivity list is called as update event which means there is an update to the signals in your sensitivity list the next important event is whenever your initial always assign block they are evaluated that particular event is called as evaluation event please remember update event is when the values of the variables or signals inside your sensitivity list is updated that is an update event and when your initial always assign all these different kind of blocks are evaluated that is called as evaluation event now i want these events to be executed in proper order because if they are not executed in proper order i may run into issues like race conditions race condition means i say for example i am evaluating an expression but the variables of that expression hold an old value they are not yet updated if such kind of situation occurs then my evaluation will be incorrect evaluation should be as per the latest values in the sensitivity list but due to a problem you are not able to get the latest value such kind of situations are called as race conditions how we can avoid is by scheduling all the events update events evaluation events i want to schedule it in the proper order i will evaluate my expressions only when the signal list is updated i can do such kind of things because i have different regions in the simulation so i will first ensure that my sensitivity list is updated only then i want to evaluate my initial always assign block this is what i mean by events can be ensured of correct execution order by scheduling them into different simulation regions why do i need this different simulation region first thing is i need a predictable interaction between test bench and design your test bench is going to have 
a lot of procedural and continuous assignment blocks like always and initial and uh, assigned blocks. Similarly, your design will also have procedural blocks, assigned statements. And I want the predictable interaction between them. Again, I don't want any race condition to occur between test bench and design. I don't want my test bench to evaluate older values in the design. Because if that happens, my test bench gets older value from the design and calculates the result. It is going to result in unwanted failures. Just because my design has not yet updated the correct values, still I am evaluating the result in the test bench. Such kind of situations I want to avoid. In short, it helps in avoiding race conditions between your test bench and design as well. Now, in system Verilog, there is a concept called as system Verilog assertions. Even the assertions are used to test your design behavior. We have a system Verilog assertion series separately in the Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel where you can learn in detail about system Verilog assertions. I want these assertions also to be evaluated correctly because these assertions also depend upon certain signals. And I want the correct value of those signals to be picked up in my assertions because again, if I pick the older values, then the evaluation of the assertion will be incorrect and I will see unwanted failures, which I don't want. So only once all my signals are stable, only then I want to evaluate my assertions until and unless all the signals are stable, I don't want to evaluate my assertions. Now, let's see what are the different regions in system Verilog. In system Verilog, the regions are divided into mainly 11 different simulation regions. Here you can see. Out of which, this symbol means the region and there are certain regions which are dedicated for PLI. What is PLI? If you want to invoke certain C or C++ functions in your Verilog or system Verilog code, that time you use PLI. When you want to use C or C++ functions in your code, that's when the PLI is used. And certain regions which are in this symbol are only dedicated for PLI and these are other regions. Your current time slot, this is your current time slot is divided into all these regions. And before current time slot, you have the previous time slot and after current time slot, you have the next time slot. So whatever values come your, from your previous time slot, that is into the preponed region. And whatever values go from your current time slot towards the end is postponed region from here, the values are sent to the next time slot. And in between, there are a lot of regions, as you can see. Broadly, all these regions, you can also club just into five main regions. One is preponed region. Then all this I can club together into active region. And all this I will club together into active region. And this I will club into observed region. This is the reactive region and postponed region. Five main regions, preponed, active, observed, reactive and postponed. But we are going to see in detail what happens in each of these regions. So if you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 are the main regions and 1, 2, 3, Four, these are the PLI regions. Now let us first understand what happens in this main regions because other regions are only used for PLI. So we will see them later. First, let's see these important main regions. Now, as I told you, my current time slot, I am going to divide into these five major regions. Let's consider five for now. One is preponed region. 
another is active region then i have observed region then next is reactive region and the next is postponed region and say for example you have given this time scale 1 nanosecond 1 picosecond 1 nanosecond is your one time slot and one picosecond is precision in this current time slot this one nanosecond is what is going to be divided into this different regions each nanosecond will have all these regions now let us understand about the these regions what happens in these regions first is preponed region preponed region if you remember we were getting the value of from the previous time slot into the preponed region so this preponed region is where your values are sampled the next region is active region in active region whatever assignments you have now the assignments can be non blocking assignment blocking assignment continuous assignment the right hand side of all these assignments is evaluated in your active region and in your active region you also have dollar display and dollar finish statements are evaluated now there is another region inactive region where your hash zero statements are executed these statements are very rarely used in system very log that's why we don't consider this as a major region i am clubbing it into active region itself but you can remember in inactive region has zero statements are going to be evaluated the next region is non blocking assignment the name itself says non blocking assignment so in active region we have already calculated the right hand side of this non blocking assignment in nba region i am going to assign this value to the left hand side observed region in your observed region in system verilog assertions there is a type of assertion called as concurrent assertion execution of that concurrent assertion happens in your observed region in addition to that there is a concept called as clocking block in system verilog in clocking block we specify input and output queues say for example you have specified input with an explicit queue of hash 0 such clocking block inputs with hash 0 explicit queue are sampled in the observed region then you have reactive region you have a concept called as program block in system very log this program block will also have different assignment statements say continuous assignment blocking assignment execution of these assignment statements in program block will happen in your reactive region except that the pass and fail action for your concurrent assertion if you remember the concurrent assertion were executed in the observed block they were sampled in the preponed region and finally after execution whatever happened to the assertion whether it passed or failed that you are going to know in the reactive region and also the statement or command like dollar exit executes in the reactive region in the postponed region dollar monitor dollar strobe these commands will execute and in the immediate assertion there is a type of immediate assertion called as deferred immediate assertion execution of that deferred immediate assertion happens in the postponed region let's quickly revise preponed region this is where you get the values from the previous time slot and in the preponed region the, those values are sampled active region in this region the assignment statements non blocking assignment blocking assignment continuous assignment are going to be evaluated except that commands like dollar display dollar finish will execute in active region there is an region called as inactive region where has zero statements are executed this is very rarely used 
there is nba region for non blocking assignment the assignment to the lhs left hand side of the non blocking assignment happens in this region then i have observed region where the concurrent assertions are executed and if you have a clocking block which has inputs with hash zero explicit skew those are sampled in observed region in reactive region your execution of program block assignment such as continuous and blocking assignment which are present inside program block will happen in reactive region and the concurrent assertions which were executed in the observed region finally if they have passed or failed that you will come to know in the reactive region except that commands like dollar exit will be executed in reactive region postponed region commands like dollar monitor dollar stroke will be executed and there is a type of immediate assertion called as deferred immediate assertion that will be executed in the postponed region now let's learn about pli region if you remember there were four regions which were dedicated to pli pli why it is used if you want to invoke any c or c++ functions inside your code that time you will use pli now pli four regions preactive region if you want to read or write values or create events before any event happens in the active region that you do in preactive the name itself says preactive so read or write values or create events before the active region the next one is pre nba again the name itself says before nba so if you want to read write values or create events before the nba non blocking assignment happens that time you use pre nba region now post nba again name itself says after nba if you want to do anything after evaluation of nba nba is non blocking assignment so if you want to read write values or create events after the events in nba are completed that happens in post nba region and post observe regions here you just read the values after properties are evaluated if you remember in the observed regions we said that your properties or concurrent assertions are going to be evaluated so the results for that will be available in the post observe region and you can read the values very simple preactive means before active region pre nba before nba post nba after nba post observe means after observed wherein the properties are evaluated so if you want to read the value of the those properties that you can do in the post observe region now i hope with this the system very log regions is very clear and with very easy language you are able to understand what happens in each region understanding of system very log regions is very very important why because if you understand system very log regions only then you will understand concepts like clocking block program block which are actually used to avoid race condition then you will be able to understand race condition how they occur and how to avoid them and even for understanding assertions you need to know the system very log regions because the assertions are sampled in preponed region they are evaluated in observed region and pass or fail action is available in reactive region so all these things you should be able to remember if you don't understand it in one go i request you to please go through this lecture again and again i am sure after certain iterations you will definitely understand because we have written all these points in very very easy language i don't think you can understand system very log regions in any easier language than this so please make best use of this and we are going to cover other concepts also in very easy language so to stay tuned to such easy video lectures on vlsi please subscribe to sweetie speaks official youtube channel see you in the next video lecture